Hi, I'm Cor Norgard from uh, NoGo, and the purpose of this video is to show you a simple example of the process matrix, how it is designed, uh, and the simple example is uh, called the apply for money example. <coughs> Excuse me. It uh, it uh, is first shown in the PowerPoint. Then I will show the Excel matrix and then the execution environment. And uh, um, imagine you are an applicant, uh, this role, and you apply for some money or some subsidy for your company. So the first step to undertake is the application step, which you as applicant execute. It is followed by a case processing step, which is executed by a case worker somewhere, and then followed by a payment, which is executed by the case worker, uh, or a rejection letter which is executed by the case worker and then archiving again executed by the case worker and now we want to add a decision here because the case worker on the case processing step will set uh, the approval determine whether approval is true or false and if yes uh, if the approved uh, variable is true then it will be a payment step and if no it will be a rejection letter step now to add some complexity, let's say that uh, you can apply for money if even if you're rich. Uh, but if you're rich and rich is something you say or set on the application, then if yes, there must be another approval step uh, after the case processing, which is to be executed by the boss. So some boss has to approve uh, that you get the money if you're rich. Uh, and so what happens is uh, the case processing step or the case worker will set the approved but the boss will also determine uh, whether uh, approved is yes or no and if yes you get the payment and if no you get a rejection letter let's add one more if you're in a hurry and uh, a hurry is something you set on the application step as the applicant and if uh, no if you're not in a hurry you get an ordinary payment and if yes, you get an express payment, and both of which, of course, are contingent on uh, getting a yes for approved. So if you get yes in approved, and if you're not in a hurry, it, it's a normal payment. And if you get a yes for approved, and yes, you're in a hurry, <coughs> sorry, it would be an express payment. And uh, the only thing that we missed now is uh, the uh, uh, predecessors or the sequence constraints. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, uh, what it says is that case processing has to wait for number one. This is similar to a project plan. So there has to be a completed application before it can do the case processing. Uh, in many cases, you would say two here, in that there has to be a completed case processing before you can consider approval. But uh, let's assume that um, that the boss uh, is uh, on his way to vacation, and he can see the cases there, but the case worker has not yet carried out his case working step. Why not let the boss uh, approve or execute the approval already when there is an application? Uh, the case uh, worker can always turn it down afterwards. But um, so I would say that uh, why put two, why not only put one here and thereby remove a potential bottleneck in the way this organization works. Uh, but the payment uh, has to await two and three uh, and uh, two and three is the case processing and the approval. Now the way the machine works is it only waits for relevant steps. So if three is irrelevant, that is if you're not rich, uh, then it will only wait for two. Express payment has to wait for th two or three as well, and so does uh, the rejection letter. And archiving has to wait for four, five, and six, and uh, and that is it will only wait for the relevant ones, and there will only be one of them. Uh, there will either be a payment, or an express payment, or a rejection letter. Uh, but if you specify all, it will wait for whichever of them is relevant, and that will in any case only be one of them. That uh, you can depict in a flowchart, uh, which will look like this, where uh, the swim lanes uh, denote uh, the roles. So this one is uh, so far pretty simple to um, to a process matrix. Uh, there is, how, however, one thing, and that is the fact that uh, the, the boss doesn't have to wait for the case worker to do his approval, 
would uh, complicate the flowchart uh, quite a lot. Uh, that would have you would have to add the red uh, arrows here. Uh, but uh, the point is then that f uh, there's one more thing: the the process matrix allows each role to see what the other role does, whereas a flowchart would not allow it. Uh, so the applicant can actually see what is going on down here, but cannot execute it. So you get a better overview and you get less bottlenecks as we try to demonstrate here. But the purpose now is to show how it is designed, not the uh, benefits. And uh, if you carry on uh, from here, this is again the same, uh, the same uh, process matrix as you saw before. Uh, but then the process matrix adds one more important thing and that is uh, the grid of data elements which is the one you have to the right and uh, we have added two data elements the application amount and the rejection letter text the application amount is a piece of information that you set on the first step uh, and then you get it subsequently that means you cannot uh, modify that piece of information on any of the subsequent steps but you can see it and the rejection letter text is something you set on the rejection letter step and then on the archiving step you get it and we have added G's here on the archiving step to notif uh, notify that um, uh, archiving will have to include uh, the value of the decision variables as well now that uh, is uh, fed into a process matrix in Excel and this is the same except that for uh, we have used a character called A for uh, denoting G and S in the same because we usually uh, we usually uh, use A to say that if we know the value already we get it and then we allow to set it so A means access uh, so um, uh, it's just a convention for making forms most forms will use A instead of just S so that you get a, a value and prefill it if you have it and the Excel uh, matrix is uh, the one you see there uh, and uh, it's uh, input into this uh, Excel sheet here and the effect of importing this into the runtime environment I will show you that now uh, and that happens uh, here so if we go back uh, this is one that is already filled if we go back and uh, we uh, ask for a new uh, version of the apply for money symbol uh, then uh, you see the whole process here uh, and you see uh, that uh, by the way I have uh, I have opted to use a role a tester role which uh, which is um, visible uh, here and uh, I have set an S here underneath the tester role to say that when I started up I am this role and I have granted full execute access to this role so that I can in my test mode or demo mode I can execute any step and I don't have to uh, wait for transfers and switch between windows where I'm different roles so in this window uh, I will be the tester role and be uh, allowed to do every step also the case working also the approval you will notice that the case processing now uh, is relevant uh, but it's still grayed out in that it has a predecessor constraint you cannot carry out the case processing or the rejection letter or any of those yet I will say that I'm rich and I'm in a hurry and I apply for a hundred thousand for instance now the case processing is, is uh, unlocked it's, uh, it has no unfinished predecessor and you will notice on this step I have G's to uh, tell uh, what are the values of these two decision variables but I cannot modify them at all uh, therefore it loads collapsed in this group it's only read only uh, elements in the group so the group will load collapsed uh, what I need to do as a case worker is to say uh, that it's approved or not say that it's approved and then press next and since uh, it was a rich person there will be this additional approval step uh, if uh, the boss says that uh, we don't approve it will not be a payment it will be a rejection letter if on the other hand the boss says uh, that he approves the case then it will be uh, an express payment the express payment uh, has a G on the amount and we assume that when you uh, send, send the step uh, it will send the payment instruction somewhere and archiving has only read only uh, information on it so this is how you design it uh, rather simple and uh, and you just uh, key in uh, these um, steps roles decision variables and, and uh, data elements on the step 
and you then use your letters here to uh, say whether the uh, 